Before we can make that move, though, we have to throw off the heavy burdens holding us back. These are not physical but mental barriers. We need to start by freeing ourselves from our past. Horrible, sad, unfair, gross, ridiculous things happened to us or we had supreme bad luck. It doesn't matter. We have to move forward. Konnichiwa and welcome to the Leadership Japan series and I'm your host in Tokyo, Dr. Greg Story, President of Dale Carnegie Training Japan. And much more importantly, you are a student of leadership highly motivated to be the best in your business field. Today's show is brought to you by our Dale Carnegie course. The course focuses on the five drivers of business success. Confidence, communication, leadership, people skills, and stress management. This course is running at a 98.3 average satisfaction rate over the last five years. So we know it works well in Japan. Host it in-house or send people to our public programs. We do it in English, we do it in Japanese. If you have a performance or people challenge in Japan, then maybe we can help you. Contact me at greg.story, that's G-R-E-G dot story, S-T-O-R-Y at dalecarnegie.com. You can also grab our free white papers, guidebooks, reports, training videos, blogs, newsletters, course information, plus much, much more at japan.dalecarnegie.com. I do three weekly podcasts, and if you have an interest in presentations, Search for the Presentations Japan series on iTunes. And if you're interested in sales, then look for the Sales Japan series also on iTunes. Before we get going, today's handy Japanese phrase is Potsu potsu kitane. Potsu potsu kitane. It's sprinkling with rain. Potsu potsu kitane. It's sprinkling. Potsu potsu kitane. It's sprinkling with rain. Potsu potsu kitane. This is episode number 178. And we are talking about become your own first responder. There are billions being spent in the beauty business, the weight loss, fashion, and entertainment worlds. These are the fantasy lands from where we receive our images of success. By comparison, we are too short, too tall, too skinny, too fat, too poor, too whatever. Actors, sports stars, captains of industry all seem to be living the dream. And we are barely making a living. If only I'd been born to wealthier parents, in a better neighbourhood, in a better city, in a better country... I wish I'd had a better education or had a better job, better prospects. I wish I'd been dealt a better hand in life. Stop wishing that because you are not going to be dealt a better hand. You have what you have. You can't change what has happened in the past. But that doesn't mean that is all you can ever have. Many have made mistakes, specified poor choices, taken unwise paths, and have hung around with the wrong crowd. Face it, accept it, stop fighting it. You can't undo the mistakes of the past. Stop trying to go backward and use that energy to go forward. Don't live in the past. Look at your strengths, not just your weaknesses. Well, this all sounds very fine, dandy, and noble, but how do we do that? Well, we have to become our own first responder. When a catastrophe occurs, the first responders go in and rescue people. They apply life-saving procedures and spirit the wounded away from the scene to safety. The white knight on his white charger is not about to turn up anytime soon and rescue us, so we had better get busy helping ourselves. We had better come up with our own rescue plan and start to move forward. Before we can make that move, though, we have to throw off the heavy burdens holding us back. 
These are not physical but mental barriers. We need to start by freeing ourselves from our past. Horrible, sad, unfair, gross, ridiculous things happen to us or we had supreme bad luck. It doesn't matter. We have to move forward. Now, I didn't say we had to forget what happened. That is unlikely and probably impossible. The trick is to free ourselves from the incapacitation that those events in the past are having on our daily reality. We need to focus on what is in front of us today. What is the locus or what is in the locus of our control? If yesterday is haunting us to the point where we can't focus on today, we are never going to break free. To get rid of yesterday, so to get rid of yesterday so we can concentrate on today, we need to take the worry component out of our frame of reference. We can recall the past, but we need to deduct the worry bit. Worrying about it changes nothing. So recall, but stop worrying about it. Create your own hermetically sealed memory house with glass, walls, ceilings, windows, floors and doors where the content is visible, but nothing can get out. Mentally make it so the worry dimension cannot escape to contaminate your today. Having done that, we switch gears and look at our strengths and assets. Assets? What assets, you ask? You have time. And that is your greatest asset ever. You spend time either productively or less productively, but you will spend time. By looking at the time available as your asset, you can now start the process of going onto the front foot and thinking about how to spend that time more efficiently, effectively, and productively. You can set down a detailed vision for yourself, where and how you would like to be in the near future. Next, you can arrange a series of key high-priority goals which will help you achieve that vision. Your goals must break down to precise, defined, realistic action steps to realize the vision's objectives. Now, we devote all the time we have available to working on those action steps. This process creates forward momentum from which we can build further, step by step. What did all of this cost you? A small part of your greatest asset, time. Thank you for joining the Leadership Japan series. If you found the program useful, then help other students of leadership and share it around. As mentioned, if you have a performance or people challenge in Japan, then maybe we can help you. Contact me at greg.story, G-R-E-G dot story, S-T-O-R-Y at dalecarnegie.com. Also remember to access your Dale Carnegie training, free reports, white papers, guidebooks, training videos, blogs, newsletters, course information, plus much, much more. Then go to japan.dalecarnegie.com. Check out my other podcast, the Presentations Japan series and the Sales Japan series on iTunes. <laughs>